Tēnā tato katoa, no mai haramai. Welcome back to another episode of UniQuest. This is Street Level 4, and today we're going to be learning Fakie 180 Twist, the no footer foot part, and we'll finish it off with a 180 out of crank grab. Me haere tato, let's get to it. Alright, so first things first, the Fakie 180 Twist, you may have also seen called a half cab, you can call it that, otherwise fakie 180 twist. Now, before you start practicing, of course, you will need to have a fairly consistent backwards ride. I would recommend at least being able to ride two to three revs backwards before you try this. Okay, so, I've got a pole here. I recommend you find a wall, something for you to hold on to, to start your backwards ride. We're going to go like this. This is the fakie 180. Just like that. Okay, so first we're going to break this down into some stages. What I want you to do is push off of the pole. Just go backwards. Don't worry about the turn just yet. We're going to do it like this. And then stop. Try and stop. Next step, backwards run rev. Stop. Bunny hop. Keep doing that until you've got it consistent. Backwards run rev. Bunny hop. Next, what we're going to do is try and push off of this pole here and force it to turn your shoulder like this. I'm going to push and lean back with this shoulder, drop the shoulder back, push, lean back with that one. It's going to bring me this way. Next, I'm going to push off, lean back with that shoulder, turn a little bit and try stop. Next, pushing off, turn, stop, bunny hop. And now what you want to do is start looking over that shoulder. So put all of those things together. Push off, drop that shoulder, turn a little bit, stop on the spot while looking over your shoulder with a bunny hop, okay? Push off, one rev, turning, dropping the shoulder, looking, bunny hop. Now what you want to do is you want to look over that shoulder, okay? Push, looking over with a bunny hop, just like that. And then you're going to slowly put all of it together and start working on that rotation. Like that. If it's easier for you, you can of course do multiple bunny hops and start working your way up incrementally, like this. Bunny hop, bunny hop, bunny hop, bunny hop, bunny hop. Something you can do to help yourself get that rotation is to swing this free arm. Okay, so I'm going to bring my free arm over here, and then I'm going to swing it like that. Bringing in the free hand, and then swing it like that. Pushing off, looking behind me, moving that arm. Then once you get good at that, you can work on starting the 180 twist with less of a turn into it, okay? So you're going to start off, of course, going like this, turning into it like that. But eventually, you want to try and reduce that turn so it looks more like this, a cleaner 180. Then we can get rid of the pole. If you're already able to do a 180 twist, you can try doing a 180 twist, riding one rev backwards and then the fakie 180 so that you've got some momentum into that final fakie 180. Another challenge you can try is to go backwards as much as you can without that starting push off the wall or that 180 twist and then ripping out a 180 whenever you feel comfortable. Okay, so next up we're going to be doing the no footer foot plant. Uh, we did practice a normal no footer in one of the flatland episodes which I will link down in the description below. Um, I found this pole here. Now I'd recommend that you find a bench, something with a little bit more room for you to jump onto because jumping onto something small like a pole here can be quite scary but for the purpose of this video this is the best I can find. Okay so first thing I would recommend learning the static no footer but for this foot plant, all you really need essentially to be able to do to do this foot plant is to be able to jump off of your uni. You don't need to be able to land back on because instead what we're going to be doing is we're going to be landing on this pole here, this post. Or hopefully you've found a ledge. Well, the next thing you can practice, make sure you've got this one solid. Get on the obstacle that you're going to foot plant on. And we're going to do a jump mount off of this. Landing with both feet on the pedals at the same time, just like a normal jump mount. Bam. Okay, so now we're going to practice jumping off of the uni, landing with one foot to the side, okay? So I'm at the side of my uni, 
just like where I would be if I was jumping onto a ledge, say like here, to the side of your uni, like that, okay? Jumping off the uni, jumping off the uni, landing on one foot. Once you can jump off your uni and it feels consistent, try it onto a small obstacle. Let's go over here. All right, so we've got a little obstacle here. It's just off of the ground. Ideal for practicing. Just like that, okay? Now I'm not gonna encourage too much that you learn to jump back on from here because it's a lot easier doing it from a slightly higher platform. But if you want, you can practice jumping back on from here. And there you go, you've just done your first foot plant. Okay, so I think this type of foot plant is a little bit harder, just jumping onto the ground and then back on like this. But if jumping onto an obstacle is scary, you can practice this. It's essentially jumping off and then jumping back on. The key to this trick is jumping off of both feet evenly. Just like you would normally bunny hop, even weight distribution over both your feet, sometimes with straight legs. Same thing, you need to jump equally when you jump off of your unicycle, off of both feet, like that. All right, so here we go for real, just like a crank grab, right up to the obstacle, nice and slow, right next to it, then bunny hop to the side, lean over that obstacle. Just chill out here for as long as you need, and then we're gonna drop back onto the uni. Both feet, same time. If you want, bunny hop on the spot. Take your time, doesn't need to be pretty. This is your first foot plant, so don't worry about how it looks. Bunny hop next to the obstacle, jumping off of both feet at the same time, try to get your foot up there. Don't worry about what the uni's doing, you can wave it around, doesn't matter. Get yourself up there. Don't worry about what your uni's doing. Literally, if you want, you can just go like this. You can forget the uni altogether. The priority should be jumping off and getting onto the obstacle. But when you're ready to maintain some control over the unicycle, jump off and think about leaving your tire on the ground so that your unicycle doesn't move, everything stays nice and stable and predictable for when you wanna jump back on. If you don't leave your uni on the ground, you're gonna find that your cranks are most likely gonna spin like that which looks cool, but it's adding unnecessary difficulty for your first foot plant. Quick one footer, back on. Then if you want to make it a little bit more difficult, bring the uni off the ground. A good thing to think about is which foot, which side are you going to foot plant on? For me, because I learnt to crank grab with my left foot, like that, I also first learnt to foot plant with my left foot, like that. But as you progress, you're going to want to try both sides because different foot plants are easier or harder depending on which side you jump towards. All right, so I found a better obstacle. I'll just show you a foot plant so you can see what it looks like on a more sensible obstacle. But now we're going to learn skill number three, crank grab 180 out. All right, so don't forget you can crank grab on either side, either left or right. I prefer my front foot, which is my right foot, but for you, whatever you like. Likewise, whatever, whatever hand you like to do to bunny hop to 180 twist, use your preference. For me, for this example, I'm gonna be using my left hand. Depending which way you 180 is going to determine how hard this trick is. For example, you can 180 twist to the left and also 180 twist to the right. Each of those are going to have its own pros and cons. So just experiment a bit and see what works for you. All right, so get yourself up there. Make sure your cranks are on the obstacle, not just your pedal. If your pedal is on the obstacle, just like that, you're gonna lose a lot of control. So let's get ourselves up there like this. Ugh. On your pedal, you'll find you have a lot less control over the unicycle. Whoa. And even I struggle to do the 180 out. So get yourself up there, put the crank on the obstacle so that you're nice and secure. The more secure you are, the more you're going to be able to push off of this obstacle to get the momentum, to get the power for that 180 twist, okay? You'll find this a lot different than 180 twist on the ground 
because now we're not able to turn into our 180 twist and we're not able to push the tire into the ground to get that compression that would normally allow us to spring up into the air to get that 180 twist. But besides that, the principles are exactly the same. You're gonna twist your body, twist that shoulder behind you, swing this free arm as much as you can. I'm gonna wind it up first like this. This is the benefit of having your crank stability on the obstacle so that you can muck around like this, so that you can think about things and so that you can prepare your upper body for the twist, okay? So I'm gonna fully wind myself up like this. My free hand over here, wind it up, wind it up. And then I'm gonna scoop it in here like that. Scoop. Stay low, okay? I'm gonna come in low and then I'm gonna snap my body upwards, okay? Like this. Get that scoop, low and then snap. <laughs> Same principle and learning pathway. Don't go for the full 180 for now. Just turn incrementally, 90 degrees, and finish it off on the ground. Of course, if you want, you can go two hands just like this. Just like every other trick, you can always try it two hands. All right, so we're gonna put everything together. Get yourself onto that obstacle. Make sure you're nice and stable. Move your shoulders back. Get ready for the twist. We're gonna come down low. Make sure you jump out far enough so that your tire can clear the obstacle. Here we go. One final thing that you'll probably notice is that my 180 out, it looks more like I jump out and then do a late twist, like this. Which is true, and if you want yours to look like that, don't worry, that kind of thing comes with time. For now, yours is probably gonna look more like this. And it's probably going to hit the obstacle that you try to 180 off like this. Whoa! So be careful. If you're struggling with this, jumping on and then your tire hitting the... Whoa! If you're struggling with that one, it may make more sense to be on your pedal rather than your crank. Because from the get-go, that's going to move your tire away from the obstacle, giving you more room to clear the obstacle. However, it's a real fine balance in between these two things. So just play around with it. Be aware that your tire hitting the obstacle is going to be dangerous and just see what works for you. It's for this reason that I find doing a 180 out from a grind easier than from an obstacle because with a grind, you normally go all the way past the obstacle and then 180. But for this, you really are having to consciously jump out and then 180. So just be aware of that. See what works for you, and good luck. Ko mutu tato, that's us for today. Good luck practicing those skills. Things are starting to get a little bit more advanced, which is exciting. So good luck trying to keep up. If you're enjoying these videos, if you're appreciating them, feel free to support this series on Patreon, where we also have some bonus content as well as early access to each episode. Ke pai tora e te iwi. Peace out for now. See you in the next video.